Hi everyone, welcome. I am Paula and it is Monday morning. It is the 18th of September. This month has literally flown by so fast. I started a challenge on September 1st to do a few carnivore zero carb days every week and we are now starting the third week. The way I'm doing it is I'm doing three carnivore days out of the week and I'm doing Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And then the other four days of the week, I'm just doing my regular keto diet. I weighed myself on September 1st on camera. I plan on weighing myself again to see where I'm at. I have lost some weight. I just don't want to reveal it yet until September 31st, but um, things are going well. And I have heard from a lot of you who are doing this challenge with me and things are going great for you too. Everybody is getting results and making progress and it's just a wonderful challenge. I really have enjoyed this challenge. Um, after September 31st, I plan on still doing two to three carnivore days every week. I'm feeling great and so I'm gonna continue it because it's just really um, awesome. I had a very busy weekend with family. Yesterday we went to the zoo with our kids and all of our grandkids and it was a wonderful day. We had so much fun, the weather was perfect. I had a little bit of trouble with eating at the zoo. It was funny because over in my Patreon group, I posted that I was going to share what I was eating throughout the day at the zoo. And I had showed a picture of some snacks that I took with me. I'm so thankful that I took the snacks with me. I took some beef sticks, I took some cheese sticks, and I took some nuts. And I thought for sure I would be able to find something, even if it was a hot dog and eat a bunless hot dog or a hamburger or something like that. But it just did not happen that way. We ended up doing a little split up because the kids were wanting to do different things. So my husband went with my one son and his family and I went with my other son and his family. Me and Ed were texting each other, you know, just kind of updating where we were and that kind of thing. And Ed was like, we're getting hot dogs right now. We found a hot dog stand. I was not able to find anything the entire trip throughout the zoo. I didn't find the hot dog stand that they were talking about. All of the other food stands that we stopped at, nothing. There was literally nothing that I could get. They had popcorn and ice cream and, you know, all these carby foods. And I just was not able to have anything to eat. So I ate four beef sticks and I had two cheese sticks and I had a really small handful of nuts. And that's all I had. I drank my water. We were there for almost seven hours and I didn't, it wasn't like I was starving or anything like that. I was able to make it through. Thankfully, I'm used to doing intermittent fasting. So I was able to go until about noon without having anything at all, except for my water. And I did have some coffee um, on the way into the zoo really was okay. I was just very thankful that I did take those snacks with me. After we left the zoo, me and Ed stopped at a restaurant not far from our house here. And I was really hungry at that point. And I got a grilled ribeye. It was delicious. And then they have loaded cauliflower. So I had that and I ended up eating really good and everything was fine. Anytime I do go any place like that, I like to make sure that I have some kind of high protein snack with me just so that I can have something. So today I'm doing my carnivore day. I'm gonna be showing you what I eat throughout the day today on a carnivore day. It is um, nine o'clock right now. I've already had a cup of coffee this morning. I have some water here. When I have my first meal, I'll come back to show you what I'm having on my carnivore day. So I'll see you then. I'm getting ready to have my first meal and I just scrambled up three eggs. Very simple, but very satiating and packed with protein. Scrambled these three eggs in bacon grease, added a little Redmond salt. I'm having my second cup of coffee for today. This is Malazio Nespresso Pod. That's why it has that foam on the top. The Nespresso machine makes it foamy. I put in a scoop of Further Foods Collagen Peptides. This is unflavored, this is zero carb. I also put in a teaspoon of butter, whipped it up with my little frother, and I'm having some coffee and eggs for my first meal. And so I'll be back in just a little bit. I just got done making two loaves of egg white bread, and I'm going to slice this up 
and have it for a snack. I have a fallish candle burning and it has like a cinnamon scent to it. And so I wanted something cinnamon. So I made a couple of loaves of the protein sparing egg white bread. I have a video I will link at the end of this video showing you how I make it. It's Maria Emmerich's recipe and I make it every week or so and I just keep it in the refrigerator and it's perfect for zero carb days. There's like 0 0.1 carbs or something in one big slice of the bread. And so I make little mini loaves and I have two slices right here. And what I did was I spread some butter on here and I took a little bit of cinnamon and a little bit of golden monk fruit and I mixed it together in a bowl and I made some cinnamon bread. And this bread is warm because I just pulled it out of the oven so I didn't have to heat it. And so I'm so excited right now to have the smell of something cinnamon. So I'm gonna go ahead and eat my bread. That is just the flavor that I was looking for. I'm going to go and enjoy my little snack and I'll be back. I'm ready to make dinner. This portion of my video was not planned because this is the first time I'm making these ribs this way. So I was gonna do it off camera, but I decided that I'm gonna go ahead and put it on camera. I have some short ribs here that I bought from Sam's. These are the thin sliced short ribs. And I wanna make these zero carbs. So what I'm gonna do is I have some bacon grease in this skillet and I am going to sear these short ribs. I'm gonna have to do a few at a time and I'm gonna use some farm dust to season them with. I have my little Dutch oven right here. This is a three quart, I believe this is a three quart Dutch oven. It has a lid. So I'm gonna sear these on both sides. I sort of just crisscrossed them, layered them up inside of this Dutch oven. I poured some beef broth over it and I'm just gonna put the lid on this and I'm gonna put these in the oven and let them braise and cook very slowly and hopefully they turn out delicious. I'll let you know in just a little while. So here are my braised ribs. They look delicious. I just pulled them out of the oven and they're so tender, super tender. So I can't wait to eat these. I'm going to get these on a plate and try them out for you. Go ahead and give it a try. So tender, they melt in your mouth. I've made these before in my air fryer and they have a little bit of a bite to them. They're kind of tough in the air fryer. These are super tender. Here my air fryer. I have some jalapeno peppers going in the air fryer for Ed. He's on his way home from work and I wanted him to have a little side with his ribs he's not doing carnivore so that's what that noise is in the background i've never made them this way before i'm sure i'm going to be making them again slow cooked in the oven i'm sure you can use a slow cooker for this or even an instant pot i just wanted to do it in the oven today i have the windows all open it's kind of fallish out and i am ready to start using my oven so i'm going to go ahead and eat this and i'm not sure how much of this I'm going to eat, but I'm going to eat until I am pleasantly satisfied. And I'll be back to wrap up this video in just a little bit. That was delicious. All I have left is a plate full of bones. I only ate four of the short ribs and they didn't have much meat on them. They were like a little bit wider than a piece of bacon. And so I thought that I might make another trip back and get another one or two more but four, by the time I got to the fourth piece, I was full. And I was able to finish the fourth piece, but I didn't go back for any more. When you eat a lot of protein and fat, I did eat the fat in between the bones. Uh, when you eat that, it really is very satiating. You feel very satisfied and you don't feel a lot of hunger. So I am pretty much done for the night. It is almost time for me to wrap up my eating anyways for the day. So I'm just gonna have some sparkling water and that is gonna be it for me for the rest of the night. So let me know down in the comments how you're doing on your zero carb days. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up. Have a great night and God bless.